how to observe if the time for living by my own alone or to be open to relations we are always relating we are always relating relationship is not quite a choice as long as you are bodily alive even right now do we may assume that we are alone here yet there does exist a relationship of each of us with each of us the question therefore is who is the one who is relating not whether relating is optional or not who is the one who is relating how is he relating and why is he relating relating anyway is happening relationship anyway is there the question is what is the quality and the source of that relationship there is a relationship that proceeds from the incomplete i sense and obviously if you are starting out from the incomplete i sense then the purpose of the relationship is to gain completion via the other one looks at the other so as to find his missing half one looks hungrily and desperately at the world hoping that something in the world would offer him fullness and contentment in this way of relating the one who is trying to relate is dissatisfied and meek and the quality of relationship would necessarily be full of dependence and exploitation i am in need water desperately and when i am desperate i look pitiable don't i a fellow you want to do good to oh he is crazy after water give him some water please do some good to him but this fellow who is seeking water with such fervor if he gets to hold this glass of water would he ever want to let go of it and this is exploitation by the way this glass of water is equally desirous of liberation as desirous of liberation as is the one holding the glass but in my desire 
to gain fullness and completeness, I will necessarily impede the desire of this to gain fullness, completeness, liberation, which are all the same thing. This is the common, the prevailing way in which people relate to each other. Relationships normally proceed because people need each other. I need you and you need me. I will fulfill your desire. You will fulfill my desire. Let's connect. And the day someone becomes needless, useless for you, it becomes difficult and unnecessary to carry on with him or her. Be it a person, a thing, a place, whatever. That's a common way in which we relate to each other. And that's also what is commonly called as love. I love you means I need you. Hmm? But there is another way of living and relating possible. In this way, you say you are already all right. You do not quite need someone. Your aloneness is absolutely sufficient. Not only is this aloneness sufficient, it is blissful. It is blissful, but you see that there are several others like you who are not living in that bliss. Who are unnecessarily punishing themselves by searching for fullness via the other. And then you relate not because you are needy but because you want to show to others that there really is nobody who is needy. Hmm? At the level of society, at the level of body, obviously there would exist codependency. Obviously there would be needs of one person that the other person would be able to fulfill. And at that level there must be social harmony. And there is no shame in going to the tailor to get your clothes stitched. You do not Start wincing in pain that in spite of all your spiritual advancement, you still need the tailor. It doesn't matter how spiritually advanced you are. You'd still need the tailor and the doctor and the road and the train and the airplane. We are not talking of that kind of dependence. We are talking of inner psychological dependence. That psychological dependence is needless. 
and one can relate to the other without being psychologically dependent and that relationship then is not of exploitation but of compassion now you can really say that you love the other if the other exists in your life to serve your needs then there can be no love there would be a lot of attachment dependency clutching suffering relate to give or relate for no purpose if you come across someone who is already living needlessly then relate in fun neither does he need anything nor do you so the two of you can happily dance for no reason whatsoever it's a great collaboration for nothing fun. for nothing or for fun the two of us are partners for nothing or fun and if you come across someone who still thinks he is needy then relate to him in compassion to rid him of his needless needs hmm? but kindly give up the impression that ever does man come to a stage where relationships cease to exist are you not always relating to the air that you breathe are you not relating to the flow you sit on are you not relating to the clothes you wear and if you are relating to the clothes you wear how will you not relate to the tailor if you are relating to the floor you sit on how will you not relate to the mason the builder relationships are good wonderful provided we do not inject them with selfishness oh the great ones have all been great relators they related to entire humanity they found no divisions their love their compassion knew no boundaries they were in relationship with everybody and everybody includes animals insects birds fish even the so called beings that are not sentient hmm relate relate prolifically but relate without the inner hollow do not use the other to plug in your inner hollow that is not love